So one one style to play this kind of game is is just go and save every turn. That's that's pretty boring, but it's that's how it is. He's, he's taking damage when he's superheated. Sometimes the only way out is through. Target doesn't last. Additional dart bear. Okay, five projectiles. Okay, so he, he just needed to be superheated. Have to keep going. I speak, they burn. Get two down. No, no, no gave us pretty, 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 pretty okay. Sorry. Okay. 
Can I? Okay, so now we got the Edman team armor. Killed artisan. So you get inspired inspiring points from from the Magical play all incoming damage is reduced by one. Advantage backlash when melee attack hits you, attack is trailing for two turns. Disadvantage on stealth checks. Attackers can't land critical hits on the bearer. Save that uh, true soul. Uh, although I, I think we are going to uh, save him so we can kill him. Slavers inventory. Okay, so, so faster. Heat up some rocks. Let's see how the little pricks do when we strap fire to their legs. <laughs> Charming. Hell is truly where we make it. Yeah. Move! I don't have time for you. Dead. Drugman Gek. Figured I could count on him. Lesson done well learned. Now move! I've got no time for- The parasite stirs. But it's a mere tickle. You hear no thoughts or memories. Just an echo of scars that never healed. A true soul, eh? Useless wreck of a lookout could have told me. <laughs> Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed. Trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. We don't get him out soon. It's both our heads. The famous near. Subject of the Myconid's ire, no? I got some explosive butter. That's so. Set it near the rubble and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. As you near the rubble, a fragmented voice clutches at your mind. The true soul. True soul. Finally, you must clear rubble. Filling poison. Wit quick or head. Ethel Merks. On the edge. Hey, he sees much more powerful. View through Nir's eyes is a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble and few moving figures. One. Oh no. Roll again. The blur resolves into an image. Two gnomes feverishly removing debris. While two others lie dead at Nia's feet. Their flesh scorched by powerful magic. He sense Nier's frustration, tinged with rage, as the connection fades. So, powder. Here's my explosives.
Uh, 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 uh. Who has explosives? Rune powder vial. Okay, they, they, are, they are at least running away. Gale. Um. What are you waiting for? Okay, she's not proficient with the helmet, so. What a charmer. Blast the data bits. Get on with it. Please, let me explain! I'm not interested in excuses, friend. Finally! Worthless slaves! Your incompetence has been my ruin! Hey, he's a drove. Does not fail. Stop nor in, in innocent you care for the weak true soul. Most curious. The only weakness you I see. Dare speak to me without due reverence. That was your first and last mistake. Thrin, carve out her heart and serve it to the Rothe. If she indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save her. The Absolute guides my hand. You've chosen a battle you cannot win. Dwega, this true soul has uh -huh. betrayed us. Let her blood prove your devotion. Maybe that barrel is a bit too far away. Ah, Shadow Hartis. Ah, that's <laughs> that's not good. Oops, sorry. <laughs> that was some friendly to fire. Oops. Uh. 
frightened. Oh no. Thing is, we need need to reduce the numbers in a first turn, but that doesn't work when they actually start. Basically, national anthem of the Dungeons and Dragons. She's frightened. Okay, pommel strike works. Okay, some saving throws, please. Not easy these days. Rage. That is interrupted. Hmm. I can actually. Yeah. Okay. Now. Nah. Now I get some bonuses. No more level spare slots, but Ouch. So <laughs> Shadow Heart is getting Pummeled by maybe two barrels would have been better at the start. Ouch. Well, 
he's down. Target is too close. Thirty one. But <laughs> small damage. Tactical view was was which button once again. I'm I'm forgetting the always the what what's the tactical button. Tactical view button. I mean. Oh. Ouch. She's down. Yeah, now it now it's going badly. Oh, mine struck Carla. Ugh, that's not good. That is bad. Okay, she's down again. Why this advantage from equipment? Uh, let's not fight with this advantage, shall we? I should do something for the eye. 
But they are running out of soldier. Simple poison, ah. Ouch. Poor fucker. You can see two person who have have b bigger uh, armor class are actually actually last last woman standing. Well, that but that was a fight. That was quite a fight. Let me take a small rest. Better than nothing. Yeah, better than nothing. We didn't lose lose all the spell slots because, frankly, we couldn't <laughs> use on them all. Yes, fish, please. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. It's not right. Not right. Hmm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> They have killed her. She's... She's really gone. Yeah. She... She probably doesn't s swim in lava. Oil of accuracy. Well, you did it. I shouldn't be surprised considering our history. And yet. <laughs> Nothing good happens in the Underdark. You should know as well as I. I don't know if you've heard, but some of the Iron Hand gnomes, my friend Wolbrun among them, have been taken prisoner in Moonrise Towers. Ah, of course. And so, More rescue operations. To Moonrise Towers I go. I don't have time for this. The Iron Hand gnomes might already have their hands on rune powder. What do you think will happen if the Iron Hand gnomes get their hands on rune powder? What? Um, that is, what do you know about rune powder? Actually, don't answer that. The little is said about it, the better. No one should touch that stuff. Not Wolverine, and especially not those Iron Hand Jackals. Rest at a drow camp. I'd be safer among Mind Flayers. We are becoming Mind Flayers soon. Hmm. Hmm. 
Fine. Show me where to go, and I'll try my luck. I'll have a better chance of rescuing Walbrin if I'm at my best. And, um, thank you. All oh, right, so next, the beat back, back guy. The decaying corpse lies before you. I don't think he's decaying yet. Remove its head. The head breaks off cleanly from the drow's body. Didn't look like it. So, lamp. What is that? Dagger. Sword of Screams. Spider's li liar, broken moon lantern. It's Jack catches your eye, a lantern it seems, though no light flickers within. Is this the moon lantern? A thick layer of dust coats the bottom of the lantern. Broken. So much for protection from the shadow curse. It, it might be magical, so... This is pixie dust, used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. Hello. The drow sought to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life, and thus we name you Life Chanter. Mushroom dance. As our circle grows, so shall your song. Wherever you go, only listen, and you may hear it. Voice of the circle. I won't stay long. We're done counting on the kindness of strangers. Okay, mm, what does that do? Dark will a mighty circle rise. 
My song will fill the grotto. Death to her. The grotto may sustain but one sovereign. In the age of glut, age of there blood. may be no spore. Eliminate the other sovereign. He wants me to kill the Sovereign, but the Sovereign is friend. I'll have no part of it. Is my right. It is my right. Its delicate harmonies turn to scrapes and scratches. Your corpse will birth my circle. Ah, okay. He he wasn't nice. Beast. Oh no. Time to push my luck again. Why did I call myself? Now this is my happy place. Knees high. Thank you for the invitation to your camp. It's, um, well appointed, not too crowded, perfect for thinking, and I've been doing just that. It's about Wolbrin. We know he's been taken to Moonrise Towers, and we know I'm going to save him. The problem is this, a preponderance of evidence that I am a terrible adventurer. I'm not sure I should trust Wolbrin's fate to, well, me. Hmm. You've done so much already. I'm hesitant to prevail upon you again. But I can't risk recapture. I barely escaped last time. You'd do it then. You'd look for him. That's... <clears throat> Very decent of you. Thank you. There's something else you should know. Something I can no longer ignore. Okay, what? Rune powder. Do you know what it is? Until very recently, I thought rune powder was a myth. A substance so powerful it could fell a city. A nation. The Iron Hand gnomes have proven the impossible. Rune powder is real, and they have it in their possession. Destruction. The only thing it's good for. But destruction of what? Well, I'm hoping Wilbrin will be able to tell us. I shouldn't have let him drift away. Shouldn't have let that lock get their claws into him. Now more than ever, I need to find him. We need to find him. 
He's the only one I might be able to speak to sensibly. I'd kiss you, but neither of us deserve that. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't been there myself. The area around it is, well, cursed. Terrifyingly so. I did hear something interesting, though. There are shades that plague the path to the towers. Shades that fear not steel, but light. Dwergar, who mentioned it, sounded truly traumatized. It was almost amusing. Let's see what this does. How much farther can I go? Blessed be you, pilgrim. Take respite now in the dawn's loving gaze. Looks like Lathander, god of the dawn and sun. Yes? Who goes there? Lady ah. Esther. A friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Oh, it certainly looks that way. But inside... It is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. They have the audacity to call that hole a crash, as if it weren't actually a murderous training camp. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. You tried to buy off. What? No, of course not. I was merely... Well... Uh... Look, it's just an egg. The <laughs> Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. Interesting. The Society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. Hogwash, of course. A gith Yankee can no more rise above its nature than gnomes can fly. Well, yes, but now we know better. Only some of you are bloodthirsty terrorists. But most of them. But if you believe in this cause so strongly, <laughs> why not help the society prove your point? They may have chased me away, but surely the Giths would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. Bruce the Opera Egg. Oh, you wonder. Hold on. It looks different to what I expected. Are you sure that's a Gith egg? 
<laughs> no, it's an opener. Everyone needs a hobby, I suppose. But if you find a gith egg, do return it quickly. No matter how much you like it. 